Hello my buddies and bats and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily but you can call me Ems. Today I'm in my sewing room and this puppy won't like leave me alone. He'll bark at my door if I leave the door open. So I was going to keep this a no puppy zone but I think what I'm going to have to do is keep his bed at the door. Like I'll show you. Can I show you? No I can't flip it while I'm here. But I'll show you when I flip the camera around. Um, I thought I'd try vlogging again while sewing. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll do a bit like costuming drama where like Noelle from Costuming Drama. Where like she doesn't like film herself sewing. She just talks about what she's doing between things and then shows you kind of along the way. Uh, we'll try that. I'm working on the 1880s corset mock-up. Hopefully it'll be a wearable mock-up where... I can work out the pattern, but I can still wear it until I decide on the fashion fabric I'd like to use because I still don't know what I want it to look like on the outside. I'm just kind of testing the pattern, so let me show you. Oh, and that's what I'm doing. He has this tent, but he likes it sideways, and then he sleeps inside the hole and puts his little head outside of it, so it's got like a pillow, that's what he does. So half the corset is done now. Well, not done. It needs eyelets. I'm going to try and hand do the eyelets here. If you can see the seams between those boning channels. So this has bones in every panel. So it's got six bones plus one extra in the back panel right now. I'm probably going to do... I need at least one more in each of the two front panels, but I don't know what I have right now in my... Uh, boning stash so I'm going to do the other half of the corset first and get at least the main bones in and then I'll see what lengths I have left to see what I can do with that so I have my laptop all set up so I can watch ultimate fashion history while I'm sewing but so this is what I have set up for the other side so the busk is already in the front panel so then I have all the other panels and they're uh, linings laid out here that I can quickly grab them. So obviously both halves of the corset are not going to be the same pattern because again this was made from scrap fabric and <laughs> this quilting cotton I'm using for the fashion fabric is <laughs> literally like they were fat quarters I happen to have and each fat quarter was enough to do half a corset so they don't match at all. But at least I can tell the two sides apart while I'm practicing all the stuff I need to do on a corset. And I'll be able to tell what's going on when I try it on. So we shall see. So this is the goal of what we're going to have done. I'm hoping to have the other side together today. We will see. But basically what I have to do is sew, like take this, flip it over like that with the other lining on the other side, sew it backwards, press them outwards, and then sew a line here, like this line of stitching, do another line of stitching on the other side, but um, so flip it out, press it, line of stitching, same with this, this, this. And then when we get to the last one, we press it out, but then we fold the other sides in to create the flat edge, add the boning, then we add the boning channels, all the way back through a voila half of a corset that is the goal hopefully I can get all of this side done today but we'll see how long it takes me and also how much uh, thread I have I might have to switch thread colors part way through because again this is just a mock-up so it doesn't really matter so I have only this much black thread left so we are playing a dangerous game my friends Oh, and um, the sewing machine I'm using is a Brother LX3125. I got this forever ago, um, probably 2008 or 2009. I'm going to say 2008 is when I got this sewing machine. Um, it is completely discontinued now. It is kind of not the greatest sewing machine. Uh, there's a lot of stitches. It like it does do a fair number of stitches, but a lot of stitches I need it doesn't do. And 
Uh, I also lost the second pin, but like that hole right there is where another um, pin goes. Also, it's not that dusty. It's literally just grimy because it's old. Because I've clean, I clean this before every project and after every project. I clean it fully out. I oil it and everything so it's good to go. And <laughs> it's just a grimy old piece of, piece of machinery because it's been in my mom's basement for five years or so. Well, not quite five years, but almost five years. So getting it going again. I'm excited about that. So let's get started. And so instead of gabbing. So I've gotten this half done. The bones are not in it yet. I will say, okay. So what I did with this half is as I made a bowing channel, I put the bone in because I already had all the bones sized and picked out. I put it in as I finished the channels. That is a rookie mistake. Don't ever do that. <laughs> so this one, I actually stitched them all separately. <laughs> while not putting the bones in. So this is not boned whatsoever. And you can also see like, like, ugh. Ooh, you can see my wonky, gross. It's actually, I'm getting so much better at stitching and keeping my stitching even, which if you see this, you'll be like, oh my God, how are you worse than this? How have you been worse than that ever? Um, I was. <laughs> That's how. So, figuring that out, and now I get to take out these bones and measure them up to this to be a little bit shorter on both sides and shove them on in. Let's go. Look at the glory and the beauty of my corset, which is entirely not done whatsoever, but my back is starting to hurt because I don't really have a proper chair in here. I just have this guy, and I've been putting that pillow under my back. But look at this. We have our bones in. Um, because they are spiral steel, they will form to my body while they're on my body. But uh, right now it's very right. So if I had synthetic baleen, it would actually like kind of like do the dramatic shape thing, I'm thinking. But here is the bust. This pattern is great because it had for different bust sizes. So I did the largest one they have because it's me, hello, but basically like this, you can see, creates that bust shape, which is quite lovely. I don't have the grommets in, well not grommets, um, I don't have the uh, eyelet holes in yet because I need to get buttonhole thread to do that. So that will be my next step is getting the eyelets in and then it will be binding the top and bottom so I'm very excited to see how this actually fits and works within it but that is what I am done for tonight so I shall see you in the next one bye guys